Y'all remember this guy who employed this guy, Mr. Mengele, at the Auschwitz camp? You know, and, and their idea to create a master race. I bet you think this guy came up with that. Do you know where he got the idea from? That's right. The USA. It was called eugenics. It was all the rage. It prevented anyone who wasn't to reproduce, forced sterilization and stuff. But also, even if you were this, but you weren't, uh, you had any kind of disorder of any kind, you were sterilized too. If you were low IQ, physically deformed, any kind of disability, even if you were just poor, they figured you were poor because your IQ was too low. So they sterilized you. And a lot of names you're familiar with totally supported this and contributed massive amounts of money. Like... Theodore Roosevelt, Alexander Graham Bell, Helen Keller, Winston Churchill, Margaret Sanger, W.E.B. Du Bois, ain't that ironic, Clarence Darrow, the famous ACLU defense lawyer, Kellogg, yeah, the founder of the Kellogg's Company, this guy who wanted to go further and have everyone with mental illness euthanized, Herbert Hoover. Of course, we can't forget the Ford Foundation and the Rockefeller Foundation. And it hasn't went away. It happened for 70 years, starting in 1909, for POC prisoners. And was done to tens of thousands of Native American women in the 70s. It happened three years ago. The United States has done it for the past at least 20 years by lacing the artillery, the bullets and everything, with depleted uranium. All over the Middle East. They did it to control the population. Now, that kept it on the down low successfully until the Afghanistan war. Why? Because there was an exponential increase of women in the front lines, specifically in the army, during the Afghanistan war. The military, 100%, did not let them know that the artillery that they are holding is highly, highly dangerously radioactive. So guess what happened to all these war veterans when they came home, settled back into life, and went to start families? Sometimes several years after they got home. Yeah. Most of the babies are born so deformed that they, right after birth, shortly after birth. And it's permanent. It's permanent for these women. So to sum it up, that guy got his ideas from the United States, which led to, yeah, and our country still does it to this day. I heard you bitches was looking for me. Bitch, here I go.